So you'll have modern spaces for students to learn in, the, in an environment that really prepares them for the next steps, whether that's you know, going off to college or careers. Our mission is we want to be the destination for education. The targeted date for opening in grades 8 through 12 is September 2019. Uh, that's when the building itself will open and then all the fields uh, will be ready for fall of 2020. We went to town meeting and got uh, $300,000 from town meeting to do a master planning study that looked at all of our schools across the district and how do we, um, you know, how do we plan for the educational needs and the building needs of our schools across the district. And that was really the start of the high school process. The town meeting vote that happened back in February was overwhelmingly positive. 88% of the community vote in favor of a particular issue is a pretty strong statement that they believe that the community needs this. At this point, we have completed the uh, what's known as the detailed design component, which is basically we now have a, a good cost estimate for the building, and the last step is turning those detailed drawings into documents that the construction workers can, can bid on. We've done some work to get ready for the building, construction to start, so we put the new parking lot in this summer. Shaman Construction has been on site for the past couple of weeks. They established the access road coming off of River Street, which is directly adjacent to the Parker School entrance. They've done all the tree clearing on the River Street side. They have now put in all the post work and the fencing has been established around the perimeter of the project from the entrance to project support all the way around to the back gym entrance and they put the scrim or the screening area on the fence all the way around to alumni field. The exterior part of the building will kind of go into a stage of dormancy until February 2017. Yeah, so the next step is we're finishing the drawings right now and then it's it's getting the shovel on the ground. We have a meeting to talk about the interiors of the building. There's a group of students uh, that will be gathering to kind of contribute their opinions. The building design is done, the room layout is complete. It really now is about what the inside of the building can look like, what types of features we can have. When that building opens, we're going to have grade 8 students in here, and that's a, that's a big change. And so we need to make sure that our teachers are ready, our programs are ready. Uh, and that affects not only the high school, but it affects the two middle schools and then the elementaries as well. Uh, part of that is we know the Vining is going to close in 2019, which is sad because it's, it's been a great school, um, you know, great environment over there. Uh, but we need to prepare for that. And part of that is we're going to redistrict the whole town too, so that where where the attendance lines are for elementary schools and middle schools are going to change. When it comes to athletics, we've had um, eighth graders playing our softball team, eighth graders on our wrestling team, eighth graders on our girls hockey team. So we've had examples when they've been integrated already, uh, and we haven't had uh, any any issues with that happening. I don't anticipate there to be any in the future. The idea in the building is that that on the academic part of the building, there's four floors, and most of that lowest floor uh, is the preschool program, the preschool and dean program. Uh, but there'll be some classes down there and the main cafeteria will be down there. But most of the academic classes take place on floors two, three, and four. Um, floor four is designed to be for grade eight and nine students. We really want to focus on how do we help. We know we have a lot of students that come into the high school as freshmen who struggle because it's a big transition going from middle school to high school. So what can we do to create sort of a softer landing space? And by putting grade eight and nine students together, you've now got two grades worth of students. Uh, where we'll look at having separate administrative structure for them, so separate assistant principals, separate guidance counselors, separate um, social workers. Um, we want the eighth graders while they're here, you know, they're not eighth graders and the rest of the building is the high school. They're going to be part of Burwick Memorial High School. I mean, that, that's absolutely true. So culturally, uh, we want to do that. But physically within the building, we know that there's a big difference between eighth graders and twelfth graders. Uh, and we want to, we are intentionally designing some level of separation by the floor structure. Um, to create a, a safer and more uh, beneficial educational and social environment for kids as they come in. You're gonna have brand new facilities that you're gonna have much greater technology than we have right now. You have ubiquitous you know, wireless infrastructure. We'll look to go one-to-one -one so that we can put a device in the hands of every student in the building. We'll have modern science labs. From everything that I've heard from every other principal that's gone through it, um, when they've built on the same site, uh, they've given positive feedback. I'm sure there'll be some challenges that uh, come along the way, but 
kids are typically more resilient uh, than adults, so uh, I think the kids will be great. This project is, is an opportunity for the town to be have something they can be completely and incredibly proud of. Um, and you know, I'm gr personally grateful, and on behalf of the school system, grateful um, for all the support the town has shown us all the way along the way. In the new high school, I'm really excited to have like an updated school because this building is very old and I know there's going to be a lot of new features like a new auditorium, a new gym, so I'm really excited to be in a new school. There's going to be more that we can do and there'll be new buildings. In the new school, I'm going to be looking forward to having not smelly locker rooms and all new rooms and stuff. 